hello everyone welcome to our channel tech initializer so today we will be discussing about various stack options provided by spring and which stack we can use to develop our application also we will see major differences between these stacks so let's get started so there are two stacks that are provided by spring one is the serverless stack on which spring mvc framework is built and the second one is the reactive stack on which Spring Web Flux framework is built. So let's see what are the key differences between these two stacks. So servlet stack is based on one request per thread model. It means whenever a request comes on a servlet container, a thread is being assigned to that request and that thread is blocked until we get a response and the request is completed. While in the case of reactive stack, we have event loop model. It means whenever a request comes on a reactive stack, the event loop delegates that request to the worker thread and is available for serving more number of requests. Whenever the response is available, any worker thread can pick that response and send it back to the client. So servlet stack is blocking and synchronous. So because the request is being blocked until we get a response. So the thread is also blocked which is serving that request. Hence it is blocking and synchronous. While in case of reactive stack, it is non-blocking and asynchronous. Because of the event loop model which delegates the request to the worker threads and we don't wait for the response. So whenever the response is available, any worker thread can pick that up and send it back to the client. So it is non-blocking as well as asynchronous. So since event loop is also not blocked, it is able to serve more number of requests. Hence it's non-blocking. So servlet stack uses REST template to make remote services calls, which is synchronous in nature. So we make a request and we wait for the response to come back. While on the other hand, the reactive stack uses web client, which is asynchronous in nature. So web client makes a remote service call and it does not wait for the response. While on the other hand, reactive stack uses web client to make remote services calls. And these calls are asynchronous in nature as they return reactive types like flux and mono. So whenever the response is available, we get a flux object or a mono object. For example, in Java 8, we have completable futures and we get a future object, right? In the similar way, we get a flux or a mono or reactive type in case of web client. Hence, it's asynchronous. So whenever the response is available, we get it and we process it and we send it back to the client. So in case of servlet stack, if you need to scale more, then you need to add a lot of resources. Here resources refers to the number of threads. So if you want to serve more requests, then you need to have more number of threads. So it, it increases the resources in your application. While in case of reactive stack, it can be scaled with less resources. As event loop is delegating the request to the worker threads so, and it is available to serve more number of requests, hence it can scale with less resources. Spring MVC is a framework that is built on servlet stack and uses servlet API 3.0 specification. While servlet webflux is a framework that is built on a reactive stack and it uses servlet API 3.1 plus a specification. So servlet API 3.0 also supports the asynchronous behavior. Hence Spring MVC also supports some, uh, some kind of asynchronous behavior, which we will see in our next video. I will show you with a live example, how we can return reactive types from Spring MVC controller and how we can use web client in Spring MVC. Servlet API 3.1 plus specification is all about asynchronous and non-blocking features which cannot be utilized in Spring MVC. If those features needs to be incorporated in Spring MVC, then the framework has to be rewritten. So there are certain challenges that uh, Spring MVC cannot use all the features of Servlet API 3.1 plus. So hence, we needed a new tech stack which is Spring Web Flux, which can make use of all the new features that are available in servlet api 3.1 plus which are all on blocking and asynchronous thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe for latest updates and videos thank you